AMD Radeon, Sapphire Nitro Plus, RX 580, and Pulse, RX 570, 8G hash rates. Here I have three GPU-Z open. Top left is the 580 8G Nitro Plus. Top right is the 570 8G Pulse. And below them is the 480 8G Nitro Plus OC. The 580 has a core clock of 1411 MHz, while the Samsung RAM is clocked at 2000 MHz or 8000 MHz effective clock rate. The 570 has a core clock of 1284 MHz, while the Micron RAM is clocked at 1750 MHz or 7000 MHz effective clock rate. The 480 has a core clock of 1342, while the Samsung RAM is clocked at 2000 MHz or 8000 MHz effective clock rate. I am using the OC BIOS settings on both the 580 and the 480. The only noticeable difference between the 580 and the 480 is a difference of 69 MHz of core clock. Other than the core clock speeds, the 580 and the 570 have the same specifications as the 480 and 470 respectively. I did my test mining with AMD drivers 17.4.3. First test is Ethereum mining with Claymore's 9.1 Ethereum miner. The hash rates on all three cards is nearly identical. All hashing between 24 and 25 mega hashes per second. The largest difference between the 580 and the 480 is power draw, with the 580 sucking up far more power than the 480, generally 20 to 30 watts more for the same hash rate, which is to blame mostly on its higher clock. The 570, on the other hand, uses about the same amount of GPU-only power draw as the 480 is using at around 115 watts. This is, unfortunately, disappointing, as the 400 series cards end up giving a better price-performance power ratio. After overclocking the memory on all of the cards to 2150 MHz or 8600 MHz effective clock rate, the hash rate increased about 3 mega hashes per second per card, giving a total hash rate per card between 26 and 27 hashes per second. The 580 still produced the highest power draw, but not as much of a difference when there was no memory overclock, as the GPU-only power draw did not really increase for the 580, while the watts used increased about 5 watts for the 480. The 570 used roughly the same GPU-only power draw as the 480 did, about 120 watts. Again, disappointing, but expected after the initial results without overclock. Downclocking all of the cards to a core clock of 1135 MHz and leaving the memory overclocked to 2150 MHz produced similar results between cards, with the 580 and 480 hashing at the same hash rate of 26.5 MHz per second at a GPU-only power draw of about 90 watts. However, the 570 produced roughly the same hash rate as the 580 and 480, but surprisingly it did it at a higher GPU-only power draw of about 110 to 115 watts. So to hit that sweet spot for the cards, the 400 series is going to give much better price performance power compared to the 500 series. Again, very disappointing. Using Claymore's 12.4 Zcash Miner, we can see that the 580 does produce the highest hash rate. However, it's such a small difference in hash rate that the GPU-only power draw of 140 to 150 watts does not make up for the increase of the 5 to 10 hash per second hash rate. The 570 is also using more watts than the 480 and is producing a hash rate about 20 hashes per second less than the 480. Again, very disappointing. Both the 580 and the 570 give worse price to performance compared to the 480. Using Claymore's 9.3 Crypto Note Miner to mine Monero, we find similar results as we found with Zcash. The 580 produces the highest hash rate at stock settings, while the 570 produces the lowest results. And again, like the Zcash test, the 480 gives the best price to performance power ratio, hashing around 635 hashes per second at about 85 watts, while the 580 gives 645 hashes per second at about 120 watts. And the 570 giving about 600 hashes per second at about 100 watts. Disappointing, again, but I suppose it was to be expected given the specifications of the 570 and the 580. In the end, after these initial tests, 
The 400 series looks to be a much better buy than the 500 series when it comes to these cards. And if you want to mine Zcash, the Nvidia 1070 or other Pascal cards will give better price performance power usage compared to the 570 or 580. If I build another rig, I will not get any more 580s or 570s and stick with either 400 series cards or for a Zcash miner, I would get Nvidia Pascal cards. The 580's price is just under the price of a GTX 1070. The 1070 will give much better Zcash performance when it comes to hash rate and power usage. I have to hope that Vega will make up for the disappointment that the 570 and 580 are. Hopefully Vega can give the 500 series performance a boost and help AMD regain itself after stumbling with these new cards. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you buy these cards for mining? Are you going to snatch up remaining 400 series cards? Do you want to wait for Vega? Or is the grass looking greener with Nvidia cards? I hope you liked the video, hope it helped, and thanks for watching.